Okay, it's been about um, two weeks and a day since I've had my uh, bicep reattachment surgery or tendon reattachment surgery and swelling in my arms starting to go down some. Um, it's not as bad. Um, most pain I'm getting is like in my forearm or so pretty much all the pain in there. My muscles are really tense uh, right in here. Um, it's yeah sometimes I'll have like a pain spasm I did a little bit ago today or just intensely hurt in the, my forearm. I still don't have rotating ability in my hand versus I can go I guess on my left this is really limited because my forearm is really really tense and tight. My range of motion I'm not able to of course rotate it like this at all. This is about as best as I can get and um, the, the movement of my arm here to about here. So movements, I don't know if it's coming back, back yet. Uh, it probably will take a while to get down. I have been trying to um, just massage the muscles in my arms just to so they're not as tense every once in a while and try to slightly rotate my wrist but it's the rotation of my arms very limited I am getting some shoulder pain um, just for because of I usually been sleeping on the brace and everything to help keep it in a good position so I don't damage anything and I'm I think it's the way I've been sleeping I've been getting some shoulder pain just because of the way I've been sleeping and maybe because I haven't been benching for a few weeks now or something I'm not sure, but yeah, I haven't been benching a course or anything. Just been able to work my legs with the um, hack squat, leg extension, and uh, hamstring curls. So I was able to do a good workout in them uh, a while ago um, where I just really fried my legs and made them sore. So with the ex leg extension and leg curl, it's a good tool with the strive or whatever to really get my legs. I'm just kind of focused on hypertrophy right now um, just so they can keep up. Um, and of course I'll try to be doing some um, strength with the hack squat or so trying to go maybe go heavy on it even though I can't get real heavy because most of my movement on the hack squat is just kind of focusing. I'm going trying to go deep so I work on the bottom portion which is what I kind of need to do on my squat. So trying to focus on the deep part to uh, work the glutes and everything and work the bottom end on it. Um, I don't know how heavy, heavy is relative on that, I guess. I mean, it's not a whole lot of weight thrown on and I just been putting some bands to kind of way the hack squat works, um, really works the bottom end, of course, the top, so the bands kind of counter dick that or whatever as you get the movement up further, of course, it gets a lot easier. So um, when you're focusing on the bottom end, um, going deep on the ham or the um, hack squat um, the bottom end of course is the hardest and the top even with the bands really isn't a whole lot I mean just the bottom if you get past the bottom part the top's easy even with the band so just trying to work on that just to focus on my squat um, and a weak spot I've been having while I'm taking this um, rehab thing that I'm able to do um, you can see here whatever and my one piece of tape hasn't quite come off yet. I took the other one off and just kind of letting the thing heal some. There's a good crevice in there, so maybe a little while, or like another day or so before I take this tape off, and just so I make sure this part seals completely before I get this one off here. It should fall off hopefully soon. It's been anchored on there, just slowly trying to get it off. I don't want to have too big of a um, crevice here or whatever where I worry about it just separating back off since there's no stitches or anything like that. I guess it'll probably give a decent scar there. I'm um, still kind of worried about the attachment point on my bicep here um, because obviously this goes lower and everything. It looks like it's fairly low here so I don't know if there's damage in the muscle that it can be repaired or not or I'm hoping once I get the point where I'm able to start working the biceps again, I'll be doing that or so to rehabilitate it. 
um, be starting to do some curls that this portion right in here um, will develop and look again like my right because I really like the I know most power lifters kind of concerned mostly with uh, performance but maybe I'm a little vain just worried about the appearance of my arms because yeah I mean I been working I mean that was the thing I used to do work pretty hard or so in my younger years in my early te or late teens I guess early teens too and uh, early 20s or so um, just for uh, there'd be times I'd have like five hour arm days a few of those but most arm days would be like three hours on a Friday so get to go pump before you go out and then on there or so because I kind of yeah, would like to have my arms at least symmetrical on it save me from not and I don't really want this one to look like that. I don't want this one to look like the other one, of course. Just um, just been used to my bicep size and everything like that, even though I don't work on them, of course, like I used to. Um, I just kind of developed them in my younger years and maintained them through my one years. So, yeah. Anyways, yeah, I'm just kind of paranoid or worried that this one may look a little deformed or something like that, which I'm hoping it will not. And, and by all, yeah, and really just hope it stays reattached and everything. So I'll be taking the um, workouts, whatever the rehab bit, um, just when I'm able to, because I don't want to rush anything and damage anything. So going to be working on that. I um, think I may have um, decided to take some um, BPC-157. I thought I'd give that a try. Um, see if it helps um, promote the tendon healing faster. I've been reading a little bit on that. Um, so I may just be playing around with that May. We'll say that for legality purposes and all that. Um, so there's a possibility of that um, in theory or something like that. So I want to see how that goes. I really don't have... Um, a baseline of course to test to see okay how um, long will it take to heal without it with it with it with it so there's no real good comparison on I'm really not going to know if it makes it heal faster or not um, I'm just hoping somehow that it will so there's be no good comparison on it too because yeah obviously there's no placebo or um, one like me tearing a bicep before and it took X time to heal versus if I was to take it versus how long it would speed up recovery on that so um, I'm just kind of curious and hoping that it would if I end up doing it so this will all be relatively in theory as a um, not so much informative video, but a what if, maybe, yeah, placebo thing or whatever to take it. And granted, if it's actually good stuff or whatever. Um, but just kind of starting to worry too much about it. It seems like my, I don't know, just maybe the way my arm is swelling or something. I feel like my tricep has gotten smaller or something like that, even though I haven't worked on my tricep on my other arm here versus there or whatever. It kind of for some reason it just appears smaller to me or so I'm not quite sure but I'm eager to start working it out and gain some strength back in here um, of course real tight in the um, muscle in here and then in my forearms are like super tight so um, I'm gonna have to obviously wait till my tendon roots a little better I'm not sure I'll start the physical therapy next um, Thursday as it's Tuesday today so it'll be about two and a, almost two and a half weeks or so after my surgery I'll be starting to rehab on it I imagine or so the main thing which I need right now is just to be able to rotate my wrist and my hand which I'm not able to do and everything so that's about all I got for now or whatever so I just try to keep every keep on doing updates or so and all my improvements even though really don't feel like there's too much improvement other than my swelling is starting to go down it's a little swollen soon still though but I'm um, just trying to work out what I can which is my legs or whatever kind of focusing on my quads 
and hamstrings, trying to get some size on it. I've been losing weight or so. I um, haven't wooed myself. Last time I weighed myself, I was 202, and of course before. Um, I injured myself, I was up to 206, so progressively losing weight and everything. Hopefully I'll get a little leaner on that, and I don't know how much strength I'm going to lose. Strength loss for me, I figured, is inevitable at this point or so, just because I am not able to work out um, like I need to and everything. And so I just kind of decreased my eating a little bit too. Um, mostly people eat more over the holidays. I tend not to just because how busy I am and everything. So I'm not sure where I'll end up. Um, I was going to plan on moving to 198 uh, weight class. That's not in the cars really. Who knows? Maybe I'll lose enough weight. I'll go down to 165 or something. But who knows? We'll just see where it goes out. Um, like I said, I would like to be able to do a meet six months for now, but it just depends on how everything goes on it. So anyways, I'm going to try to get a workout in here. Um, just hamstrings and quads and the hack squats. So thanks for watching everyone.